Hello guys, how are you? Uh, how went your holidays? I want to congratulate, congratulate you with a new year. Uh, let the upcoming year be fruitful and prosperous with the most desired goals achieved. I wish you good, all the best in a new year. Today, I want to ask you one question. Do you know which element is the most abundant on the Earth's crust? The most abundant element in the Earth's crust. To find out the answer, we need to look at the diagram. Here on the diagram, you can <coughs> see some elements, for example, oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, etc. And you can see that oxygen with the 46.4 percent is stands on the first place. That's why today we will talk about oxygen. Symbol of oxygen is O. Oxygen was discovered by Priestley in 1774. Oxygenium, or the name of oxygen, which means acid producer, comes from a Latin language. Oxygen's atomic weight or atomic mass is 16, as you can see. Oxygen has 8 protons, or oxygen, we can say that oxygen has 8 electrons. If we will draw electronic shell configuration for oxygen, we will draw two electrons on first shell and six electrons on second shell. That's why we can say that oxygen with two shells, with two shells, is located on second period and with six electrons on the last shell, located in six group. We know that oxygen exists in two allotropic forms. One is oxygen gas, second is ozone. Sim chemical formula of oxygen gas is O2, chemical formula for ozone is O3. Okay guys, let's compare oxygen and ozone molecules. Uh, firstly, if we'll talk about oxygen, oxygen is a colorless, tasteless, odorless gas and it exists in diatomic structure. Here we can see structure of oxygen. But if we'll talk about ozone, Ozone is a light blue colored gas with a sharp, pleasant odor. Here we can see the structure or chemical formula of ozone. You need to know that oxygen gas is more stable than ozone. Okay guys, let's talk about ozone. Ozone exists naturally in the upper atmosphere of the Earth. The ozone layer is especially important because it absorbs ultraviolet light. Uh, ozone acts as a screen to block radiation which can cause skin cancer. If you want to produce ozone molecules, you need to take three oxygen molecules and, um, and make a reaction under the electric current. Here you can see a picture. Three oxygen molecules are reacting on the, under the electric current and in product will have two happy ozone molecules. Okay, let's talk about preparation of oxygen in laboratory. We have four main methods of preparing. First one is the heating of peroxides. For example, if we will take hydrogen peroxide under the re in a reaction under the catalyst magnesium Oxide we will product in, pro in products will have water molecule and oxygen gas. Second method is the method of heating of chlorides. For example, if we will take potassium chloride and heat it, in products we will have oxygen molecules and two chlorine molecules. Sorry, not chlorine, but two potassium chlorides molecule. Third is the heating of permanganates. If we will heat permanganate. In product, we also can obtain oxygen gas. First method, uh, method, first method is more expensive than others, but we need to talk about it. It's a electrolysis of water. If we, if water will, uh, will react or decompose under the electric current, in product we will have hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Guys, then I want to ask you one question. Uh, how did people live it before discovery of oxygen? 
How did people live before the discovery of oxygen? Have you wondered? Thank you for your attention. Please prepare for your quiz.